everyone, Sean Kenny here, playing some more FTL, and uh, today I'm going to try out the Adjudicator, the Zoltan ship. We get the Zoltan shields for free, which is great. Uh, it also it also comes with Zoltans that uh, will power up the subsystems that they're working on. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have uh, still have one achievement left, and that's to get 29 power and systems at the same time. Uh, that requires, I think, getting a, a couple more Zoltans and getting them standing around different subsystems and leveling it up. Uh, so that is... Uh, I haven't quite gotten that one yet, but let's let's give this a try. Let's head on out. So first we're going to have to get our, our people into their systems. So let's get to weapons and engines manned. Uh, now we have the halberd beam. Uh, now this one's pretty nice. It does two damage. Uh, the beam is reduced by one for every shield it passes through. So this will partially penetrate some shields. Uh, basically one shield is, is as far as it'll get, uh, really. So uh, we're going to use that as our main weapon. Uh, the Lido will... Uh, we don't really have enough power to, to power it. Uh, maybe as a backup. And, um, I'm, like, I'm, I've never been a huge fan of missiles because it takes ammunition and I always seem to run out of it. So I like finding uh, other ways to rely on, on different weapons. But let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Now the Halberd beam is pretty nice. It's fairly large, so we can generally hit uh, several rooms with it. Um, I'm trying to see if I can squeeze in... Uh, all these. I uh, will give it a try. It just might hit four rooms, but even three will be okay. And so yeah, we have the Zoltan shield, so they take, uh, they'll absorb like four points of damage um, that won't penetrate, including missiles or smart bombs, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, Halberd Beam just toasted that guy. One more shot from that should... Uh, does take a long time to charge, but as the guy levels up, it'll be faster. Oh, I guess I better turn auto fire on. Uh, we don't need to go for the full, the full four. There we go. All right, and let's I think maybe get a little audio there. Let's uh, try and fix that. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, and we're into his son. Uh, okay, more auto drones. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's, we can do more. I'd rather take out their shields, but I don't want to disable their weapons. Before he gets through my Zoltan shields. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll prevent uh, solar flares, I forget. But we'll find out. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, one nice thing about this uh, the ship is it comes with uh, the second level of doors already, which is really quite handy because these Zoltans are pitiful in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. If you have borders, uh, run away, because they're like the weakest when it comes. I think even an NG can beat a Zoltan, um, depending on, on their level of training, I suppose. But uh, yeah, Zoltans are pretty weak. But they come with, you know, the other nice benefits of generating power. Uh, so let's get the heck out of here. Tore that guy apart. Let's uh, get out of here before we get another solar flare. Uh, we'll Head on to a distress call. Oh, sure, let's lead them to their destination. Add a quest marker for your map. Okay. Oh, well, there it is. Um, well, we might as well go more or less straight to it. Okay, mercenaries. Well, I like fighting mercenaries. Another Zoltan ship, so we're going to have to uh, get through his shields first. Um, actually, I'm trying to think of what I should be doing here. We can get... Oh, yeah, this will be good. And I think beam weapons do more damage to the Zoltan shields. They get them down faster. So, with any luck, we might be able to... Uh, yeah, well, almost. Not quite all the way through. Uh, the next one should do it, though. And, and maybe if we're... Oh, shit. Smart bomb in our uh, shield shield generator. Oh, not good. Everything's damaged. Um, let's. Okay, well, next shot. I guess we're gonna have to take out their weapons. That's one thing as well. We, we need uh, maybe a little bit more power to get the the Lido missiles to help take out their weapons early on. Uh, a surrender. Yeah, why not? We'll accept your surrender. 
or Zoltan's nearly dead. And this what uh, usually happens is uh, they tend to die throughout your adventures. So, well, at least it's a good opportunity for them to get experience repairing. There we go. We need to get everyone to the med bay, though. Like I said, they have so few hit points that uh, every little bit counts. And we don't need to uh, redirect the power, because they'll, they'll bring the power with them, which is nice. All right, Nellis, you're the captain. Uh, you're on weapons, and you are on engines. That's moving quite a, right along. We have a quest. We have a store. Well, let's check out the quest. Maybe we'll get some money. Then we can visit the store and spend our money. I better uh, power up my shields, though. Uh, oh, and this turned into a store. Well, that that wasn't really... I could sell the Lido missile. That's only worth 10, though. Um, not really, not really worth it for anything at this point. Okay, what we need is more money. There's that store there. Um, but I don't want to backtrack if possible, but I don't think there's going to be much choice. I think I can sort of go around here, maybe. And then from there, I'm going to have to come back up, and then and maybe up there. Um, let's try this. Let's go over one. Oh, more Zoltans, of course. Of course. Uh, well, we know how to deal with you. And try and dig out as many rooms as we can here. Uh, in, come to think of it, actually, I'm going to do it in the reverse order, because as we saw last time, it was that, you know, that part, of the, the top part of the beam that ended up getting through. So maybe this time it'll, uh, it'll get through and hit the weapons. Yeah, thinking now something trying to maybe this will work with any luck let's hope okay uh, yeah okay Zoltan shields holding and his are less oh, just one more round one more round we knock out your weapons and uh, and hopefully we'll be in good shape Ooh, we're just pitiful at piloting aren't we all right excellent it kind of worked we Knocked out one of their weapons, so just the beam weapon. Shouldn't be able to get through our shields. Should be okay. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Burn him. Burn him, burn him, burn him. Uh, oh, he's trying to run away, but it doesn't matter. Good old halberd beam. Okay, so some drone parts, some fuel. Oh, wow, we have, like, a ton of stores. Well, if that's the case, I think I'm just going to have to abandon... The pursuit of one store. Maybe go down there, up there, store, into the exit. I think that might work. Maybe I can even visit this other store. I don't know. I uh, listened to their offer. Why not? We'll pay you as long as you don't kill them all. Uh, all right. We won't kill them all. That's uh, this one's pretty hand. These little slug ships. If we knock out their oxygen, I guess eventually they will die. But. Whatever, hope maybe they'll surrender before they die, and uh, then they won't count as dying, even though they eventually will die because they have no way to go and repair their oxygen. Oh, yeah. Let them live and return to the settlement. Uh, forget your promise, they die. Well, no, we'll, we'll honor our promise, and we got a Hermes missile out of it. Okay, uh, fires one missile, does three damage, pierces all shields. That's all right. Uh, yeah, see, if I backtrack there, I'm going to end up just sort of wasting a bunch of moves trying to get back. I think the most efficient way of going it is maybe... I don't know if I can squeeze this. Yeah, why not? Let's risk it. One more visit, a chance for a little bit more scrap before we continue on. Uh, of course, this guy might escape and then alert them to our presence, and then, and then we're boned, and it was like the total... what our plan was would have totally backfired, which which I don't want to happen. Uh, this little beam guy is not going to get through the main shield, but he cut away our Zoltan shields relatively quickly. Come on there. Okay, good. Delayed. Down to one hit. Oh, excellent. That, that Hellburn beam is pretty good, but we're going to need something a little more reliable to take down shields, like a an Ion Burst 2 would be absolutely fantastic. Or, or maybe more Burst Laser Mark 2s. I always like Burst Laser Mark 2s. Um, 
I want combined with the halberd beam? Oh yeah, that'd be good. Okay, let's aid the civilian ship. Uh, just seeing a little federation guy. Uh, we want... How many, how many rooms can we get? Yeah... Could I do... I'm gonna do it like that. That'll only give me a few. Yeah, why not? Let's. This will work. That'll be sufficient. Knock out their weapons, maybe even their shields. Keep them busy. Keep them thinking. Uh. Well. Yeah. Right. We're safe. Oh. We even they even missed. Excellent. We got like a hundred credits. We might even have enough money if they have a decent weapon to buy a decent weapon. Sell. Maybe even sell these. Might hang on to the Hermes missile though. Like I say. I'm usually not a huge fan of missiles. It's sort of one of those things, like, if you're not using a weapon every encounter, then it kind of feels like a wasted spot, or, you know, you could probably sell it for scrap. Uh, whereas if you're using missiles every turn, you're running out of... You're, you may end up running out of missiles. Uh, you know, and it's like, oh, do you use, like, one missile per encounter, or trying to restrict yourself to that, or something? Hard to say. Um... I think, yeah, we can get our visit into the store, and then head to the exit, and we should be okay, I think. And, oh, wow, okay. I'm almost thinking I should pick up drone control now, after my last episode with the offspray, and, uh, and sort of bypassing <laughs> some of these other abilities, trying to wait for a weapon that will never come. Um, and I could do it, too. We have the money. We can sell these missiles. And if we had an anti... I mean, that might be enough. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's go the drone route. I'm going to sell off those. I'm going to add a drone system. Um, and now, it gives us a random one. We ended up getting a system repair, which I would have much rather a uh, anti-ship drone. But... Uh, I would, it'll, we'll, we'll, we can work with it. Actually, that'll make it easier. Our guys are not the best at going around and repairing. I think I better add a little bit more juice to the engines. And I better add a little bit of backup power, actually. Let's, let's get another, so we can, we can get the system repair drone up. There it goes. And, uh, it will repair anything. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some better drones, I think, from the store. Yeah, those are too expensive, we can't buy one. But if we can end up finding a hull repair drone, that would be great. Uh, looks like we may end up fighting a rebel. Uh, it was right on the line. Oh, looks like we lucked out. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's download. And of course, it's going to go hostile, but we know how to deal with these auto scouts. Uh, with a halberd beam and no shields, I mean, that, that this one's going to be easy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I select normal mode. So far, this hasn't been quite as bad as some of my previous run-throughs. Uh, it all really depends. Look at that one shot. Boom, auto-scout. Headshot. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, pirate or rebel? I'm gonna go pirate. Yar, talk like a pirate day, I think was a couple days ago. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the pirate voice. Not really. Um... But what are we going to do? We're going to mess up some pirates. We're going to be the, the anti-pirate. The pirate's pirate. Um, why not? Let's... Well, why not? Uh, if they, they come down board and abandon their wrecked ship. Oh, cool. We have a mantis guy. Go mantis. I guess you can run the shields for now. Um, why not? Uh, store down there. We want more encounters for more scrap for all oh, well, one of these things. Okay, uh, we can avoid, let's, yeah, we might as well. Oh, and we got a hull missile out of the deal. Fair enough. Uh, let's continue on. We've been pretty lucky so far. Uh, oh, intruders, a whole friggin' shit ton of intruders. Well, uh, we're gonna have to just vent everything here. Vent all the atmospheres. Where are they going to try and go? They're going to try and go there. Hmm. Uh, let's get the Zolt... i pretty much going to have to get the Zoltans in there to help. Uh, we're going to have to get them to the med bay. So I'm going to have to seal this off. And we might as well do that. Because... 
is where it gets tricky. Because these guys, like I said, are so weak. Um, do I risk venting? I, I'm almost thinking I should get these guys running into the med bay really soon. But we, we almost have it under control. Kill one. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna... You guys are now gonna go. Uh, the Mantis guy's not gonna survive long there. But if you go as well, and then we can vent this whole section. You guys, you guys are gonna be trapped and die. Ha ha! Uh, you guys can shoot up my doors a little bit if you want. Uh, that'll keep you busy until we get healed up. Well, we'll, we'll keep the pressure off the doors. Uh, because I can... Uh, start relaying these guys in. Uh, at least I'm gonna get some practice hand-to-hand -hand fighting. You, you better get into the... oh, it's... Uh, I don't really have a... I guess you can go there. Uh, you have to get in there. I don't want you to die. And you get in there. Relay tag team. Okay, one down. One guy's almost dead. Alright! Okay, everyone's all mixed around. I don't know who's what. Okay, Nelly, Nellis, you are you are the captain, and then uh, Nekos, you are the weapons guy. I know you are the shields guy because I have you're the only one. You must be the engines. All right, well done, team. Fought off the borders. Uh, we can power everything, all the systems up. We didn't get a whole lot of sc scrap. Uh, do I want to? I don't want to hit to the store. I don't want to be sort of backtracking if I can help it. I wish I had more money, but I mean, we have that hull missile. We might be able to sell that for something. Uh, ooh, a hull smasher mark too. That's kind of cool. Uh, no good drones worth buying. A hull missile. I think I'm going to sell that for for a fair. That's decent. Um, I mean, we're we're still unscathed nicely. And, um, the only thing I could really do would be, like, sell the system drone to pick up a hull laser. That's going to require... Th I, no, it's not not worth it. The hull smasher laser is not bad, but with this current loadout, it's, um... I mean, it's 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 okay, but it's kind of expensive. I, I don't think we're not going to be able to do it. So let's just keep moving on. We have the halberd cannon. Um, yeah, that'll... That'll fix this scout up good with his no shields. Silly auto scout. So this is another good ship if you get this one unlocked if you're trying to do normal playthroughs. Um, it is pretty handy early on uh, with the Zoltan shield. It does uh, protect you from... You know, it gives you that initial round basically to get your weapons powered up and, and everything, but uh, there are certain drawbacks to it. Uh, you know, your crew being particularly fragile but in the, all, all in all uh, it's, it's a, I, I like it it's, it's a fun ship to play all right let's listen to their offer uh, okay once again don't don't kill them all well uh, all right we'll try not to kill them all and I wonder if I can get five rooms in there I don't think so I think this is pretty much the best it can do That'll knock out some major systems. Keep them, uh, keep them busy. How's our, how's our guy? Oh, he's, he's learning slowly. All right, let's uh, let him live, and we'll get a smart bomb out of the deal. Well, that's certainly better than the Lido missile. But um, oh, slaver scum, slaver scum. We need, we need crew. So we'll attack the uh, slaver scum. Always like seeing that, especially when I don't have enough crew. If I have a, a full complement, then I don't really care. But I, I still usually will uh, will attack the slaver scum to uh, to try and get the guy. Because who knows? Sometimes they'll offer you a better crewman, crewman that you know. If you have a bunch of humans, eh, I can replace them with if I get someone good. So let's see who they offer. Ooh, an NG. Well, I know who's taking over shields. Uh, you can go play cards in the med bay, Mr. Mantis guy, and uh, we can continue on. So the rebel fleet is hot on our heels. Let's uh, try and get as many visits as we, we can in. Ooh, selling missiles. Yes, I'm going to sell all my missiles uh, 
for, 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 for all your scraps, which is good. Yes, we got a nice bankroll. Oh, another... Uh, I, seriously, I'm pretty sure I chose normal. <laughs> uh, so far, it's not really feeling all that normal, although maybe it's luring me into a false sense of security, which could very well happen. Or maybe I've just run through all my bad random number generator run-throughs and it's finally given me a good one. <laughs> oh, boy. Good old FTL. I mean, this is one game that sort of has given me, you know, for for something that you're you're playing through more or less the same game over and over again. It uh, it never gets dull. It uh, it always has some to surprise you. All right, we will we will never surrender. Slaver scums, more slaver scums. That's why I like going through pirate territory because there's all kinds of slavers and ne'er do wells. So we're look at that. We can get like a bunch of his rooms. He's gonna wish he never he never tried to enslave our crew. I'd almost think like he's it's an energy bomber. I'd almost think that the ship looks like a, a larger class than his. He'd be trying to run away from us, but um, obviously he's got some. He got a nice burst laser because that uh, just tore through everything. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, system repair drone, good for you. This is this is exactly why you're handy to have around because oh, we'll accept your offer. Oh, another Zoltan. I'm going to get you running the drone shop, uh, providing power to that. We might be within. I might be able to knock out that uh, achievement in this run through if all these guys survive. Uh, we can get it to a store. Uh, what's the next one? It's probably going to be really close. Um, hmm, but I kind of want to squeeze it. Let's go squeeze in another visit. Ooh, and I choose the uh, the planet or the, the sector where everything's going to be on fire. Uh, well, we do have that system repair drone, so that is nice. Oh yeah, I think with this one, yeah, I can get all these runes all lined up. You start to learn the layout, so when you're using beam weapons of these ships, of, of sort of the more efficient ways of going about uh, lining up your shot, trying to try, you're trying to hit as many rooms as possible because the beam weapon will do the, uh, the damage it does to each room. So if it only hits two rooms, it only does that damage to two rooms. If you're doing it to like four rooms, it's two points per damage, or you know, I mean, if one's being uh, re if it's being reduced by one by the shields, but oh man, half our ship's on fire. Uh, accept their offer, missiles, drone. You know what? No, we're not accepting your surrender. Um, even though our ship is like, our ship is on fire. Uh, you, I need to sort of vent all this, all the things. Let's vent all this, vent all this, just, just vent it all. Oh my goodness. Uh, who's been, like, spreading gasoline around the ship? Because that is not cool. Uh, well, the system repair drone will take care of it. They don't mind if it's in a vacuum. Let's just head onto the ship, uh, get away from the fire generating sun. Ah, all right. So, what do we have? We have drone recovery. How are we doing? We have a few drones, but we're not really using them. Teleporter, cloaker, I'm not going to be buying any of those systems. I might as well sell the smart bomb. I really am not going to use that. Uh, repair? I, yeah, maybe a couple repair. I don't really need much. Maybe a couple fuel. I'm not going to buy any of those things. And we have that. Okay, we're all set up for our weapons. We got all kinds of. Now, unfortunately, this ship drone, every once in a while, like if it resets, it, it wants to go back and then reset. So that was kind of silly. But. Uh, I think what we can do is, uh, let's, let's get another layer of shields, and that's it, I think. Some more engines, one, one more on the engines, one more on the engines. We still have a hundred scraps, so that if we run across the store, we should still be able to buy something. So we're just going to be scraping by here. Uh, let's lead them to their destination, why not? Oh yeah, just out to the exit. 
I forget to check whether the, I don't think the quest is here. Uh, ooh, selling drone parts. I don't want to do that because I, I probably will be using some drones. And all right, what do we have now? We have a pirate or a mantis. Pirate. Let's go more pirates. Yar. Oh, well, we have vasty pirates. Okay, Roper, you you were hurt a little bit. You can uh, you can make a trip to the med bay once we have some oxygen in the hallways. All right, just a quick heal up, and uh, we can send you back. Okay, you where? There's our quest. Let's uh, let's take out some of this nebula, check it out, slow down the advancing rebel fleet. Oh, we're down to three fuel, so I don't want to do a whole lot of exploring. Um, there we go. We'll same old place, knock out all their major systems. And nice one, nice blow, hopefully. Uh, we are, we, I really do, I, maybe I shouldn't have sold that smart bomb, because I do need a, another weapon if we start getting into uh, some of the, um, what is it, the, uh, if we have two, if they, once they, once we have ships that start having two, uh, two shields, we're, we may be in trouble, so I really need to find that, I'm going to let that guy into that little hallway, they can fight there. Um, yeah, one more hit, and we should disable most of his stuff. And they're going to offer a surrender. Two fuel, 16 scrap. We're not accepting your surrender, you rebel scum. Um, our guy's going to die. Oh. Okay. Well, that should... We should be able to keep him contained in there for the time being. I have enough to run the med bay as well. Come on, one more shot. And, uh... That will be able to take care of that drone. Alright. All things good. Actually, you know what? I, I need a... If I can get a, a human, I'm going to put him on captaining. Because uh, if I can free him up to, uh, I don't know, put him in another room, help charge more rooms, that would be good. But let's see what else we can do. So we have a quest. We have the quest there. Uh, maybe down, down. One, and then down. Yeah, why not? This one still looks like it's in the nebula, although I still only have the three fuel. I thought I'd get some more fuel from that guy, but maybe I should, maybe I should have taken his offer. I don't know. Um, so I won't dally around too much. We better try and make it to the quest. Hopefully we'll get some fuel somewhere here. Hopefully this guy will. Man, this cloak is taking forever. Uh... I think, I think that's about all I can do. I don't think I can stretch this to four. Oh, yeah, maybe I can. Let's give it a try. And now we've got to wait for the halberd beam to entirely charge. Probably by then, his cloak's going to be charged again. Jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. He's got a nice fast-firing missile that apparently sets everything on fire. <laughs> we killed him. Oh, wow. So three fuel from him. I, I guess that was worth it. Um... Let's get those shields back up and running uh, with the the repair bot and an NG. That doesn't take too long, so that's good. He's a little hurting, though. Um, ooh, a distress call. Yeah, let's go check out the distress call. I'm going to go down south, but why not? We have distress. I'll lead them to their destination. All right, more, more leading to destinations. That's fine. Uh, quest up there. Let's. I guess we're gonna have to go start beelining for these quests. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to make any of them. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. I. I can't do anything. Shit. 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 I'm gonna have to just run away. I, I don't think I can. I mean, I can set it up, but I don't think it's gonna fire. It's not gonna make it through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I forgot about that. Well, no, I didn't really forget about that. I was uh, woefully ignorant, blinded, saying, oh, I can make a little bit more scrap if I sell that uh, bomb. Uh, that'd be all right. I won't need that right away, right? I'll get another weapon. No, random number generator says no. Oh, God, let's we got to get out of here before everything goes to crap. Let's... Let's hope we can find uh, something. Yeah, I'll sell the missiles. Why not? I'm not gonna. Well, maybe I shouldn't have sold those missiles either. Uh, a lot less foresight on this playthrough, but um, whatever. We'll just uh, go go with the flow, I guess. All right, let's get our NG healed up. We're 
back down to like three fuel. Uh, we could be in trouble. Uh, store. Do I go to the store before the quest? Yes, yeah, so let's go to the store before the quest. Maybe we can fix this little problem of ours. Oh, of course not. Um, I don't even have, like, I mean, I could get a grab a crew teleporter, but I only have, like, one Mantis guy to send over. And maybe, like, an NG. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to just do that. Let's, let's try the quest. Let's try the quest. Maybe, maybe we'll only have one shield. Or maybe it won't even get us to fight. Oh, maybe, there we go. Okay. Lucky us. Oh, another sh store. I'm gonna risk it. And just, oh, come on, we need, um, an anti-ship one. Okay, fair enough. Mine. I'm buying it. Um, so we only have two drones equipped. That's fine by me. Everything else, I think we're okay there. Uh, I think I better buy one more power. Let's get those shields loaded up. And uh, I'll be able to use anti-ship drones. This may be just enough. I might have to do a bit of timing on my uh, my halberd beam to, to time it when the anti-ship drone uh, fires. But otherwise, I think we'd be okay. And I think I might be able to make this other quest as well. Uh, board the station and look for survivors. Oh, it's, uh... Hmm. You detect faint life sink. Why not? Uh... You return quickly return to your ship. Okay. You didn't lose anyone. So I don't really want to lose anyone. Uh, this is going to be another tight one. Just getting out of here before... Oh, thankfully... Yeah, no, we're going to run into the rebel fleet. Well, we can try out our anti-ship drone. That's cool. So, I'm going to switch this over there so it gets the Zoltan power energy. Oh, look, three shields. Well, freak. Yeah, the anti-ship drone's not even going to make a difference. So, uh, charge, FTL charge. We need to get the hell out of here. Uh, <laughs> it started so promising. And then I went and sold off all the things, and now I have no weapons to play with. And I'll never be able to defeat a three, <laughs> three shielded ship. And we're going on to the next sector where we're probably going to run into a couple. Hopefully it'll just be two shielded for the first little bit until we can maybe get another weapon. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I, we're not getting past uh, the first shield with the anti-ship, so... Moving right along, uh, Rebel or NG? I'm going to go... I choose NG. Because we are in a tough enough state as it is. Uh, let's check out this one. It's right here. Oh, we're down to one fuel. Let's participate in their study. They'll give me some money, but no fuel. Let's hope this spot has fuel for us. Ah, <sighs> reject their offer. Um, I'm going to turn the distress beacon on. And we're going to have to wait. Need some fuel? We're prepared to dock with your ship. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll accept they're up. They pull closer, and they're going to be hostile, but hopefully, when we beat the snot out of them... Oh, it's not an enemy ship. Oh, he gave us fuel. Oh, oh, I didn't even read that. I was just, uh, I just assumed he was going to attack us, so excellent. The, the kindness of strangers has saved us, uh, although we've lost a bit of time here. Gonna have to keep moving. Uh, we're gonna be running out of fuel soon again if we don't run across anything interesting. Uh, three, I'm gonna remain concealed. Uh, they turn around towards me anyways, so... And everything's gonna be three shielded. I'm gonna have absolutely no ability to do anything about it. We have one more jump. If I was able to kill a guy, maybe he'd drop some fuel, but no, no. Uh, oh, we have a border. Well, something for the Mantis to do, I guess. We'll, uh, get you fighting, practicing. We're probably going to be taking this Mantis with us if he doesn't leave soon. <laughs> That's alright, we can just vent him into space once we move to the next sector. Uh, as long as we don't get blown up. Oh, oh, he's, he's leaving. And we're about to jump. Hopefully we don't get any damaged. I'm, getting at that. I'm just getting as far away as possible in case we're stranded. Um, 
Well, that bribe does not include fuel, so... And you only have two shields. I not risk it. Oh, he's got some anti... Um, well, that's okay. They won't uh, They won't be able to do anything. Alright, so it's going to be all about timing. If we can just get like the f one first shot in and knock down part of his shields. Okay, now. Now is the time to strike when he's got one shield. Albert Beam, activate. Uh, it still didn't take it down the shields to, to one, so I'm going to turn off the Halberd Beam. And I'm going to have to time it again once it comes active between shots here. Alright, so that's down. We have a limited window before the shields regenerate. FTL is charging, but we did hit their uh, their engines. They're managed to keep their shields up. Like, unreal. Okay. It's going to be really hard. I, oh, man. I really should have hung on to a missile or something. Uh, really is my own fault. Okay, uh, I was not paying attention. I think I missed one of the windows here. Let's hit them. Excellent. One more beam attack should do it. Okay, they are going to offer six missiles, two drones, but that's no fuel, so sorry, I'm going to have to reject your offer and hope we get fuel. Oh, but no fuel. Um, oh, well, he turned into a shop. Well, that's convenient. I'm going to buy all your fuel. And I don't even really need to repair. He didn't have any weapons. Damn. Okay. Um, a distress call or another store. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Let's, let's check out the store. We're going to have to check out the store. We need more fuel, too, anyways. Uh, really? Seriously? No weapons still? I don't know why I just repaired that. I want by fuel. Um, and another store. Another store. Jeez. Alright, well, let's check out this distress call. Maybe we might be able to do it. Search the area for the ship, and we're going to get hit by asteroids and nothing for our troubles. That was well worth it. Okay, continuing on. Anti-personnel drone. Well, that's cool, but we're not going to really equip that. Um, I guess we're going to be checking out this last store, and hopefully it's going to have something that we need. We so desperately need a Pegasus missile or an Ion Bomb. We only have, I've sold all my missiles. Hmm. The anti-bio beam's kind of neat, but... I think, I think the Ion Bomb is the way we have to go. That's like three, three energy. Uh, three, the Ion Bomb it is. Uh, buy some more fuel, and I guess I'm going to have to buy a couple missiles. Uh, hopefully we won't need to use it a whole lot. Uh, we're going to have to upgrade our ship, though, in order to equip it. Uh, Alright. Time to move on. We are moving on to Sector 5 here. And uh, let's intervene. He's got uh, He's only got two shields, so... Oh, and we do have a, a lot more options. We have the Ion Bomb, of course. We're going to target that on the shields because we need that to get be taken down so that we can we can hit him with the halberd beam our main weapon really mess him up a little bit all right there's a window either uh, looks like we missed with the ion bomb but the anti-ship drone is going to take care of that i'm gonna have to be watching all those things now we're gonna be using missiles and drones and, and all of it uh whew, oh, just missed I really do need to upgrade some more parts of the ship, but... Hmm. Thankfully, we're being kind of lucky here. Alright. I'm going to turn off the ion bombs. We don't need any more. And, of course, we don't have enough power for both the, the drones at the time at the moment. Um, maybe we'll be able to upgrade that soon. Look at that. I mean, he's had half damage just from one shot. And so it's kind of, you kind of got to send him to the med bay, even though you may not want to do it during battle, but it may be the only choice sometimes. Otherwise, if we get hit, you know, if he gets hits again, um, yeah, if he gets hit again, it could very well be just, you know, one-shot kill. And we, we, would, we would lose our engineer, who's, who's pretty well trained at this point. Um, maybe I should 
have the Mantis piloting. Ugh. The guy's been doing it for so long, he's pretty good at it. Um, let's move on to the next sector. What do we got? We have Pirate or Zoltan. Pirate or Zoltan. I'm going to go Pirate for the, hopefully, the better chance for loot and booty treasure. We have another store. We have a distress call. Let's check out the let's check out the distress call, and ooh, we can use the NG crew and get a bunch of stuff. Good enough, and uh, we'll have more money now when we go to the store. And hopefully we don't have to. You know, maybe we. Hopefully it's not going to be something awesome. Well, I want something awesome to be there, but I also don't want to sort of just have to replace the ion bomb after I just spent money buying it. Um. No drones that I want, no system that I want, uh, a couple repairs, and I'll buy your fuel, and that's, uh, that's it. That's all we're doing. I'm going to upgrade, let's upgrade the drone just a little bit, so we can have everything running. Uh, so actually, I'm thinking maybe we should have that that way, and I can take power out of the med bay. Good. Okay, I don't want to spend too much more money, you know, always keeping... A little bit of money afloat in case we run across a, a merchant. And uh, freight occurring a shipment of my goods. Okay, let's accept it. At least you're confident. Let's let's go. Let's go on a quest to rescue his cargo. And maybe he'll give us a burst laser mark two. That would be great. I'd love that. Or, or three, even better. Uh, they take forever to charge up, but man, do they hit hard. All those lasers, ooh, slavers. Well, we know what we do with slavers here, and we can we can now have all our systems up and running. For that ion bomb, we'll take out a good chunk of their shields. Then the halberd beam can come in and and ruin those slavers' day. So we're gonna wait for the ion bomb to fire. Oh, excellent! Totally knocked him out, and then we followed up with the halberd. Oh, he's going to try and run away. And a uh, missile hit, but nothing major. And I think I can actually turn off the ion bomb at this point. It's only got one shield left. He's going to try and, uh, of course, hit my engines again. The guy who takes forever to walk to the med bay and back, and uh, will accept their offer. Ooh, excellent. Okay, you know what? You're going to be the new captain. You, you, where are we going to put you? We're going to put you in the drone control room again, I guess. Might as well. We can have all the drones powered by people. People-powered robot drones. That oh, sounds like a Doctor Who episode. All right. Um, there we go. Actually, it sounds like all the Doctor Who episodes. <laughs> well, or half of them, maybe. Uh, pretty much nothing there. We have our quest. Let's get that done. We're you know, running low on fuel. Uh, take the cargo and head to the original destination in search of a reward. Or take the cargo for yourself. It's always a... Um, you know what? We'll try and do the honorable thing and move on. Sometimes we have some other options when we get there. So, we'll see. I want to do a little bit more exploring. Maybe we can get some more fuel. Uh, accept their bribe of three fuel and scrap. Oh, oh. Do I accept their bribe or hope that if by killing them we'll be able to get some fuel anyways? We're gonna, we're gonna kill them and try and take their fuel the old-fashioned way by destroying their ship and then collecting it from space, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. And we get the iron bomb go in, and, and hopefully, oh, it's going to miss, but we did have the anti-ship drone get it. Oh, I was too slow, too slow. All right, we're going to have to wait for the next round. Man, uh, they are on my engines this time around. It seems every playthrough they, they decide to focus on a particular part of your ship, and uh, they won't rest until it is messed up. All right, so a more generous offer. I'm, I'm going to still reject that in the hopes that maybe we'll be able to get some fuel out of this in the end. Uh, I want to turn off my ion bomb. I don't want to be shooting all my missiles off. All right, well, we got scrap, and then the, the person that we were trying to rescue 
jumped away without offering us anything in return. Well, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Moving right along. We can we can get another visit in. We we have two fuel. We're not going to get strand in this sector. No way. But we might get burned to a crisp. That's always a possibility. And we'll ion bomb their shields and get the halberd beam ready to go for the inevitable time when we can actually get through. And hopefully we can knock out both their shields and then get like the full destructive power of halberd beam. Uh, now this one, this this is I think uh, this is a good way to do this one. I forget actually. I do want to get as many system. Yeah, I think here we are. Okay, and uh, they're gonna offer me missiles, drone parts, and scrap. But I really need fuel. So sorry, dude. Um, you you chose wrong. Oh, uh, the drone, well, they put that fire out quickly enough, then that's fine. And nobody seems too terribly hurt. Okay, hopefully you drop some fuel. Two fuel, nice. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. And I don't think, I, if I go up there, we're gonna, now we're gonna run into rebels. So let's, so let's get on out of here to the exit. Oh, we could sell our drones, but we don't want to because, well, I'm not using a, yeah, I'm using one to fight now, pretty much, so I'm gonna have to be keeping an eye on on the drones. So we have NG or NG. Who knows what's behind it? Um, door one, number one, door number two. Maybe, uh, this is usually a good spot to cut these videos in half, otherwise it does get a little bit long and uh, you guys might get bored. So this will be the first part of the Adjudicator playing FTL. I'm Sean Kenny. Thanks for watching. So long for now.